Our dear loving Heavenly Father, Baba Mpendwa, it is indeed a privilege this morning that you have accorded us another opportunity to come and sit in your presence. This we say because we have no doubt that we gather here in your name. We stand on a promise that whenever two or three are gathered, then you shall be there communing with them. Your Lord, we present ourselves before you. Hungering hearts. Thirsty hearts. Broken hearted, weak hearts, but with full confidence that thou art strong. Speak to us this morning. Lift up our spirits. Encourage us. And build us. And draw us closer unto you. We commit the service into your hands. As we minister, dear Lord, we trust upon your strength. For oh, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, it's my pleasure to welcome you to the service this uh, morning. Any visitors among us, we like to acknowledge you and welcome you to please lift up your hands so that we welcome you visitors among us oh, we have many visitors oh, God God bless bless so much. Much. please clap for them sana. Pigeni wa makofi. Karibuni sana. Be welcome. Tunapenda wageni kwa hii kanisa. We still like visitors. Uh, receive greetings from our pastor. Pokea salamu kutoka kwa mchungaji wetu. Uh, he had to travel. Atajua hamja pokea salamu zake. You will know that you have not received his greetings. <laughs> Pokeni salami, salamu za mchungaji. You receive greetings from the pastor. Amen. Mepata safari kidogo. He had a small journey to travel. He said I greet you so much. And wakumbushe ya kwamba anawapenda sana. And to remind you that he loves you so much. Amen. Amen. Now I would request that we stand. Lakini kwa sasa ni tawamba tusimame miguni yetu. And we open our Bibles. Na tungeukie Biblia ni zetu. In the book of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14 and Luke chapter 1 verse 30 and I'll read in the name of Jesus Christ therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Amen. Kwa hiyo bwana mwenyewe atawapa ishara. Tanzama bikira atachukua mimba, atazaa mtoto mwanaume, naye atamwita jina lake Emmanuel. Amen. Amen. In Luke 1 verse 30 And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Malaika akamwambia, Usiongope, Mariamu, kwa maana umepata kimbali kwa Mungu. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. Tanzama, utachukua mimba na kuzaa mtoto mwanaume. Na jina lake utamwita Yesu. We have our seats. Tuweza tukaketi. May the Lord add blessings to his word. Na Bwana ajumulishe baraka juu ya neno lake. Amen. Amen. Our little text this morning. Ah somo dogo tu asubuhi ya leo. Is the virgin has conceived. Ni ya kwamba bikira amebeba mimba ama amepata mimba. Amina. 
God bless you so much. Bwana wabariki sana. But it's more important Lakini ni muhimu zaidi to understand the reason. Kuelewa sababu for this season. Sababu ya majira haya. To understand what is Christmas. Kuelewa Christmas ya kika ni nini? The scripture we have read in Isaiah. Maandiko ambayo tumesoma Isaiah is one of the earliest the, the earliest prophecies regarding Christmas. Ni moja hapo ya unabii wa kale zaidi ambao ulitangulia Christmas. Now for those who believe that they can read the Bible. Kwa wale ambao mnaamini ya kwamba mwaweza kuisoma Biblia. And understand what it is saying. Na kuelewa yale inayosema. I think this scripture is a very good example. Natumai maandiko haya ni mfano mwema bora kwetu. Because Isaiah Manaka Isaiah was called by the Lord. Aliitwa na Bwana. And he was told Na akaambiwa There is a certain king. Ya kwamba kuna mfalme fulani the grandson of your friend ambaye ni mjukuu wa rafikiyo uh, uzia uh, uzia you remember uzia mwamkumbuka mfalme uzia alikuwa um, uh, rafiki mwema wa isaya bali akafa kimfalme uzia his grandson was a king at that time uh, mjukuu wake wa kiume ndiye alikuwa mfalme wakati ule and uh, of course you remember the kingdom the kingdom had separated Namna kumbuka ufalme ulikuwa umegawanyika kuwili Israel 10 tribes and Judah two tribes Kukawa Israeli eh, bari 10 nao Judah ikawa na mbili eh, And this king was called Ahaz Na mfalme huyo aliitwa Ahaz the king of Judah ambaye alikuwa mfalme upande wa Judah sasa And the king of Israel Na mfalme wa Israeli made an alliance with the king of Syria Akafanya muungano na mfalme wa Syria it's in Isaiah chapter 7. I don't want to read. I'm just giving you Katika kitabu cha Isaya sura ya 7 mwanza kusoma baadaye. So there was a king. Kwa hivyo kipakao mfalme was called Rezin of al- Syria. Aliitwa Rezin wa kutoka upande wa Syria. He an alliance with the, with the king Peka. Wakafanya muungano na mfalme Peka. Israel, wa Israeli. To come and have a coup d'etat. Ili waje wa teke nyara serikali na muondoe mfalme Ahaz. Ambaye alikuwa mjukuu wa mfalme Uzia. Na Ahaz akawa na shida ya moyo. Akatetemeka akawa na woga. Because the Syrian army was might. Maana jeshi ya Syria ilikuwa kubwa mno. And they had identified a man. Na walikuwa wamemtambua bwana fulani. Within Judah. Katikati ya Yuda. Uh, who was going to be reinstated to be put as the king ambaye sasa ndiye angeweka hao mfalme baada ya kuongolewa mamlakani kwa uzia and ahaz was praying to the lord na ahaz alikuwa anamuomba bwana kwa ajili ya msaada and the lord na bwana spoke to isaiah the prophet akanena na isaiah nabii and he told the prophet akamwambia nabii arise Inuka. and take your son with you uchukua mwanao pamoja nao go into the highway muenende katika jia kuu certain corner katika pembe fulani you are going to meet with her mtakutana na mfalme hazi this is what you are going to tell him. na mtamwambia haya fear not usiongope do not be frightened usishituliwe let your heart not faint. Wacha moyo wako usifadhaike. The Lord will fight this battle for Bwana you. Bwana atakupigania vita hivi kwa ajili yako. Not how mighty that army is. Haijalishi vile hiyo jeshi ya Syria iliyo kubwa. He will fight the battle for atakupigania you. Atakupigania hizi vita. So Isaiah did exactly that. Hivyo Isaiah katenda yale yale. And when he met the king. Na alipokutana na mfalme. And he delivered the message. Na akampea ule ujumbe. And Ahaz listened to that. Na Ahaz akasikiza ule ujumbe. Then Isaiah told Ahaz. Isaiah akamwambia Ahaz. Which sign? Ni ishara ipi? Would you like the Lord to give you? Ambao ungetaka Bwana akupe? To prove to you that A, indeed. Akuthibitishie kwamba hakika. He has sent me. Amenituma mimi. To tell you that the king of Syria. Ni kwambia kwamba mfalme Syria na mfalme wa Israeli hawata kushinda vita. As posed and told Isaiah. Ahaz akakoma akamwambia Isaiah. I shall not tempt the Lord my God. Mimi sitamjaribu Bwana Mungu wangu. By asking for a sign. Kwa kumuomba ishara yote ile. What you have told me is Kilo, enough. Umeniambia cha tosha. I will believe. Nitakiamini. Then Isaiah said the next verse. Isaiah akasema mstari uliofuata. Ah, uh, therefore. Kwa hivyo basi, the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Bwana mwenyewe atakupa wewe ishara. The old a virgin shall conceive. Tazama bikira atabeba mimba. And bear a son. Na amzae mwana mwanaume. And call his name Emmanuel. Na atamuita jina lake Emmanuel. Now think about sasa 
since that day hebu azia kutoka siku hiyo alipopewa ujumbe ule and the time that uh, jesus christ was born na wakati yesu kristo alipozaliwa and all the theologians who studied this prophecy na wana theologia wote waliosoma unabii huu studied the bible na wakaisoma biblia studied the writings na wakasoma isaiah maandishi ya isaiah and all the hypotheses na wakajaribu kila jambo ambazo zililetwa pale mbele yao wajaribu kuelezea what isaiah was trying to tell ahas kila Isaya alimwakua akijaribu kumwambia hazi kumwambia atibikira atabeba mimba isipokuwa mwanadamu akuongoze how can you understand wawezaje kuelewa understandest thou je waelewa kile unachosoma praise the name of the lord sifuri jina la bwana We need Malachi 4. Tunamhitaji Malachi 4. This is the only way. Hii ndio njia ya pekee. We can be able to read this. Tunaweza kusoma hii nyingine. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake bwana. That's why he said. Ndio sababu akasema. That the word of God is of no private ya kwamba neno la Mungu alina tafsiri tafsir ya mtu binafsi. The word of God is not subject to opinion. Neno la Mungu halihitaji mawazo yako. It is not subject to personal understanding. Aliti kuelewa kwako mwenyewe. Subject to leaning. Aliti hatikuelewa kuongemea kwako. It is not subject to school. Aliti mashule ama mawazo. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake bwana. It can only be handled. Inaza tu kushikashikwa by God himself. Na Mungu mwenyewe through his prophet. Kupitia nabii wake. Bwana asifiwe sana. Praise the name of the Lord. When the time came, wakati ulipofika, it happened. Jambo hili katendeka. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake bwana. It was vindicated. Ikathibitishwa. The prophecy was clear. Na unabii ukawa dhahiri. And we had Christmas. Na tukawa na Christmas sasa. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake bwana. Now, sasa we've seen the fulfillment. Tumeona timizo of that prophecy. Ya unabii ule. It's only one of the many prophecies. Ni moja wapo wa unabii nyingi. That was given regarding the birth of Jesus. Nabii nyingi zilizotolewa kuhusu kuzaliwa kwake Yesu. It's the most beautiful event. Amba ndio kituko ambacho ni kirebo zaidi. That happened. Ambacho kinitukia in the Bible. Katika Biblia. Is the birth of our Lord. Ni kuzaliwa kwa Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. It was highlight. Hii jambo hiyo of all the work that the Lord had been doing. Ndio ilikuwa kilele cha kazi yote ambayo Bwana alikuwa akitenda. Up to that time. Mpaka wakati ule. And so many prophecies. Na na mbili nyingine nyingi sana. Izilibidi zitimizwe. Ili zihakikishe. It happened according to Ya kwamba it was prophesied. Ili tendeka kulingana na ilivyotabiriwa. When the angel appeared to Mary. Wakati malaika alimuonekania Mariamu. She was a young 17 year old. Alikuwa msichana wa miaka 17 hivi teenager. She was not in the synagogue. Hakuwa kwenye sinagogi akifunga na kuomba. She was not with the scribes and the meketi na waandishi. Na walimu wakisoma Torati za Musa. She was not at the temple in Jerusalem. Hakuwa kwenye hekalu kule Yerusalemu. Akitoa kafara. She was a young 17 year old girl. Alikuwa msichana tu teenager wa miaka 17. Going to fetch water. Akienda kuyateka maji. Just going about her daily business. Akiendeleza tu kazi zake za kila siku. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake bwana. When the time comes. Wakati unapofika. The prophecy to be fulfilled. Kwa unabii utimizwe katika maisha yako. It will find you where you are. Utakupata mahali uliopo. It is the work of the promise. Ni kazi ya hadi hile ikupate. It's not your work to Sio kazi yako promise. kutafuta ile ahadi. Sifuni jina lake bwana. The prophet preached a message. Nabii alihubiri ujumbe. And it was a Christmas message. Na ukawa ujumbe wa Krismasi. He said that God's gift akasema vipaji vya Mungu kila wakati upata mahala pake sifuni jina la Bwana anazielekeza Mungu mwenyewe na malaika akamuonekania Mariamu alikuwa kule Nazareti ni kijiji kidogo kitogoji tu kilikuwa kijiji kitogoji mahali There were no prophecies about any king being born there. Hapakuwa hata na unabii wa mfalme kuzaliwa katika kitogoji kile. Mary had nothing to her name. Ah, hata wengi hawakusikia lolote kuhusu jina lake. The only great thing happening in her life. Eh, jambo kulilotendeka maishani mwake. She was promised 
and to marriage. Ni ya kwamba halikuwa meaidiwa kuolewa. To a certain widower. Na buwana bulani ambaye halikuwa mefiwa na muke wake. Called Joseph. Haliaitwa Yusufu. That was the only big event going Yandu, on in her life. Yandu jambo kui likuwe kitendeka katika maisha ya Mariamu. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifu ni jina lake buwana. Yet. Hata hivyo alikuwa atimize unabii ulikuwa mkuu zaidi maandiko yaliyokuwa makuu zaidi katika biblia yote but it was a weak situation bali ilikuwa katika hali dhaifu nothing much amna mengi ya kuonekana herself mwenyewe nothing to her name hakuna chochote kinachohitajika kwa jina lake hakuna maafikio ya kiroho katika maisha yake hata hivyo alikuwa mwanamke mteule she was the elect alikuwa bikira mteule praise the name of the lord sifuni jina lake bwana she knew little enough Halijua madogo sana ya kuwa na imani ya kupata mtoto samani imani ya mtoto kwa yale nabi eh, malaika alimwambia na tujimwage sisi maarifa yetu katika mashahaya ili tujue madogo tu ili tukumbali ahadi za siku yetu pasipo kutilia swala lolote pasipo kuwaza pasipo kupima na kuweka kwenye bizani na kutafuta hisi ama maana ya kitu like kama huyu bikira mdogo mariamu na tunajua vile hadithi ilivyoenda and when the angel spoke to her na wakati mariamu alipozungumza ah, ma, malaika alizungumza naye samani yeye aliweka mawazo yake pale how shall these things be akasema mambo haya yanawezekanaje i know how births take place hata hivyo najua vile watoto upatikana mimi you see knowing is always the unajua, problem unajua kujua ndio shida kila wakati the problem is always what you know shida kila wakati ni yale unayojua If Mary did not know how births usually take place. Kama Mariamu angejua vile watoto upatikana, that question would not have arisen. Ile swala haingekuwa shida kwake. Sifu ni jina lake bwana. So Kwa hivyo, kile tunahitaji kushughulikia is what we know. Ni kile tujuacho sisi kama wanadamu. What we already know. Kile ambacho tunajua tayari. What has been the norm? Kile ambacho kimekuwa ni mtindo wa kawaida. What usually happens? Kile ambacho utendeka kwa kawaida. We are expecting miraculous things. Tunatendrajia mambo ya kimiujiza. Lazima tuwe tayari kwa mambo yasiyo ya kawaida. Lazima uwe tayari kwa vitendawili. Ready for things that don't necessarily make human sense. Lazima uwe tayari kwa mambo ambayo yana maana kwa wanadamu. Lazima uwe tayari kwa mambo ambayo yanapiga maarifa ya ulimwengu huu. Sifu nyingi jina lake Bwana. Wengi kwa Mariamu akauliza. I know how babies are made. Mimi ujua vile watoto upatikana. So you Kwa hivyo wewe malaika This thing you are telling. <laughs> Jambo hili unaloniambia mimi. How shall it happen? Inawezaje kutendeka? I don't know I don't know any man. Na mimi ni bikira. Now, sasa the angel spoke a word. Malaika akanena neno that was not targeted to Mary's. Ambao haikulenga mawazo ya Mariamu. It was a seed. Ilikuwa ni bengo that God had a preordained bedding ground Ambo, for that seed. Mungu alikuwa ameitengenezea mahali pa kupatikana hiyo bengu. That it was a seed that only Mary could. Ni bengu tu bed. Ambao Mariamu ndiye angeatamia. Praise the name of the Lord. jina lake bwana. Because he prepares the bedding ground. Maana Mungu ndiye upanga mahali pa kuatamiwa. Kabla hajateua kimbele. And when that word came out. Na neno hiyo lipotoka. That the Holy Ghost shall overshadow thee. Ya kwamba Roho Mtakatifu atakutia uvuli. That word connected with the receiver. Neno hiyo ikapigana na kipokezi. Ambacho Mungu alikuwa ameweka pale. Kabla kuwekwa misingi ya ulimwengu. And it was not a matter of a reason. Na haikuwa mawazo yake tena. It was a faith. Ilikuwa ni imani. It was something from deep down. Ikawa ni kitu kutoka cha ndani. Catching something supernatural. Kikishika kitu cha kiungu. That was a supernatural process. Hiyo ilikuwa jambo la kiungu. Na akasema na iwe kwangu. According to thy word. Kulingana na neno lako. Deep connected to the deep. Kilindi kikaungana na kilindi. Na mara moja. Conception happened. Kubebwa mimba kukatendeka. Amina. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake bwana. After she said that. Baada ya kusema yale. 
Mary did not have to worry anymore. Mariam wakua na shaka tena. About the fulfillment of all the other prophecies. Kulingana na timizo ya unabi ule mgini wote. The birth of Jesus Christ. Kulingana na kuzaliwa kwa kia buwana Yesu. She did not go to research. Ha kuenda kufanya utafiti. Na kusema vema. Isaiah chapter 7. Ati ya Isaiah 7.14. It looks like it is me. Ati inaonekana ni kama ni mimi. So can we let us figure out. Na na tujaribu tuwaze. What are the other things they say about them. Mandiko yale mengine ya sema nini. Number one. Kusu. Jambo la kwanza eh nahitaji kuwa Bethlehemu. Mana Mika 5:1. Maana Mika 5:1. Say do little Bethlehem. Ikasema he Bethlehem uliye mdogo. Wewe uliye mdogo katika miti ya Yuda. Na kwako kutainuka mfalme. Kwa hivyo mimi Mariamu. Let me go to Bethlehem. Wacha ni hame niende Bethlehem. That is work of theology. Hiyo ilikuwa kazi ya wanatheolojia. That is not the work of a predestinated seed. Hiyo si kazi ya bengu iliyoteuliwa kibele. Kama wewe ni bengu iliyoteuliwa kibele, your footsteps are ordered. Basi, hatua zako zinaongozwa. Na Bwana You live a token life. Unaishi maisha ya ishara. Sio maisha yako. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake Bwana. It is God's word. Ni neno la Mungu. This God is the God of the universe. Huyu ni Mungu wa hanga. He will control Caesar on this side. He will say tax has gone low. So let people be counted. On the other side he will hold Joseph. In a dream. And tell him those things that you are thinking please stop. Stop those things that you are thinking. Because it is me in control. He worketh. In, on all directions. Because once you have said amen, umesema, amina, and that seed has found its predestinated betting ground. Na bengu mahali pake what you have conceived in you kile umebeba mimba is yako, child of the Holy Ghost. Kina ito mtoto wa roho mtakatifu. Child of the Holy Ghost. Mtoto wa roho mtakatifu has a father. Hana babae. To watch over that child. Wa kumlinda huyo mtoto. That child is called God the Father. Huyo mtoto anaitwa Mungu Baba. He is called the Holy Ghost. Anaitwa Roho Mtakatifu. He is called Jesus Christ. Anaitwa Yesu Kristo. He will watch over it. Hatalinda hiyo bengu. It's not your work. Sio kazi yako. To worry. Ya kuendelea kuwa na shaka. Na kuanza ya kuogopa. Na kuanza kushangaa. How shall these things be? Ati mambo haya yatatendekaje? And yet, na hata hivyo, 1 Moja mbili tatu najua. Kuhusu hali yako ya sasa. Na hali zako. No Mary alikuwa anaambia Gabriel. Mary would tell Gabriel like this. Your idea umeleta ni mzuri. Those ideas you brought they are good. Lakini kama unataka ifanyike. But if you want it to happen, niogaze uh, please organize for me to get a husband. Because even the yoki to inaendaga. Because that is the way that thing happens. According to her idea. Kulingana na mawazo ya Mariamu. Praise the name of the Lord. Amina. This word is not for our reason. Neno hili si la kutafakari. Say amen. Sema amina. Let that child of the Holy Ghost. Watch who your mtoto wa Roho Mtakatifu. Abebo mimba ndani yako. He will take care of his own. Hata linda walio wake. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake Bwana. Everything else he took care of. Kila kingine chote eh ndiye alithibiti. Hallelujah. Mm. And the prophet has told us that was a good type. Na nabii anatuambia huo ulikuwa mfano mwema of our day. Wa siku yetu. Because Mary. Maana Mariam conceived. Alibeba mimba. The first human flesh. Mwili wa kwanza wa mwanadamu. Ambao ulikuwa ndio maskani ya Mungu. The next Iliyofuata will be us here on earth. Itakuwa ni sisi humu duniani. Waaminio wa ujumbe wa wakati wa mwisho. And once we get there, na tukifika pale, we pull back those who slept before us. Tutawavuta waliolala mbele yetu. So this kind of conception. Kwa hivyo kubebwa mimba huku that happened in Mary. Ambako kulitendeka kwa Mariamu. Is only possible to happen again. Kunawezekana kutendeka tena. In our day. Katika siku yetu using the seed word ikitumia bengu neno that is the revelation of the seventh seed ambao ni ufunuo miuri saba praise the name of the lord sifu jina lake bwana in a more miraculous way katika jia iliyo minjiza zaidi you are not formed fresh as a fetus in your mother's womb sisi atukuumbwa kiwa mwili katika tumbo za mama zetu you are transformed while you are still an adult ulingeuzwa ati ukiwa mtu mkubwa vivyo you are totally different human being ilikuwa ni mwanadamu tofauti what a miracle ni muujiza mkuu kiasi gani 
in the back side of God's mind. Katika nyuma ya nia ya Mungu, he had three. Alikuwa na purposes. Kusudio tatu. Our pastor has taught us about. Mchungaji wetu ametufunza kusudio zile. And the first fold purpose. Na kusudi yake ya kwanza. Let's 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 read in uh, in uh, slide number 6. Na nuku ya 6. That notice Hana. God has had a threefold purpose in this great mystery secret. Mungu amekuwa na kusudio tatu kuu katika siri hii kuu yake. This great mystery secret Mungu, before the world began. Katika siri hii kuu aliyokuwa nao kabla ulimwengu ujaanza. Hana kusudio tatu ndani yake. And you want to go upon this morning. Tutataka asubuhi ya leo. This threefold purpose. Tunene kuhusu kusudi hizi tatu. Believe by the help of God. Na kwa msaada wa Mungu naamini. Present and he will show it to us. Aliye hapa sasa na atatuonyesha. If you have these three full purpose Kama alikuwa na kusudi hizi tatu Tutataka tujue kusudi hizi tatu zake ni nini? Ten, first, kwanza to express himself completely alitaka God in Christ. Kujidhihirisha kabisa Mungu ndani ya Kristo. He needed to be born. Alihitaji azaliwe. God in a human being. Mungu azaliwe ndani ya mwili uitwao Yesu Kristo. There was a requirement for a virgin. Palikuwa panahitajika bikira. You are not been touched. Mwanamke ambaye yako amenguza nguzo na mikono ya mwanaume. Mariamu wa Nazareth. Yalikuwa yule bikira. Of the first fold papa. Wa kusudio ya kwanza. The virgin. Bikira yule. The first fold papa. Wa kusudio ya kwanza ya Mungu. Was Mary. Alikuwa ni Mariamu. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake bwana. God prepared her. Mungu akamtayarisha. Akamkusudia kimbele. And kept her. Akamuhifadhi. Clean. Msafi. For that purpose. Kwa kusudio hiyo ya kwanza ya Mungu. Second. Ya pili. To have the preeminence. Hawa na utangulizi. By this in his church. Katika kanisa lake. Which is his body the bride. Ambao ni mwili wake bibi harusi. Till he could have the preeminence to express himself through them. Hawa na utangulizi wa kujieleza mwenyewe kupitia kwa wao. The second fold papa. Kusudio la pili la Mungu. You are the virgin. Yeye ndio bikira. Of the second fold papa. Wa kusudio ya pili ya Mungu. Mary was the virgin. Maria alikuwa bikira. Of the first fold papa. Wa kusudio ya kwanza ya Mungu. The bride is the virgin. Bibi harusi wakati ndio. Of the second fold papa. Bikira wa kusudio ya pili ya Mungu. And thirdly, na ya tatu, to restore the kingdom. Ili arejeshe ule ufalme. That the products of the first fold purpose. Ili wa, wale ambao ni matokeo ya ile kusudio ya kwanza. We'll connect and join together with the product of the second fold purpose. Na matokeo ya kusudio ile ya pili. And together they will form the third fold purpose. Watatimiza ile kusudio ya tatu. But they you tuned your plan ya Mungu akwa ngi na mambo mingi. That is God's plan. There is no other plan of God. That was it. Hii ilikuwa yote ndio hiyo mpango ya Mungu. And this is the secret which Najua. you did not tell any man. Ndio siri angemwambia mwanadamu yeyote aliweka ikiwa siri. All those things. Mambo yale yote. He wrote it in a whole Bible in different parables. Aliandika katika Biblia kwa mifano nyingi na mithali na na nyaraka za upendo na unabii. Summary of this whole Bible. Mkutasari wa Biblia hii yote. Hiyo mambo matatu peke yake. There are only those three things. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifu ni jina lake bwana. So, kwa hivyo. The points I'm making here is that Jambo anajaribu kusema hapa ni kwamba kama aliyafikia kupata bikira huyu katika kusudio hile yake ya kwanza msafi asiyegoshiwa na hakamweka hakamuhifadhi na hakamchia katika wakati na majira aliyofaa akampata akiwa bikira na hakapeana ile bengo na Mariamu akapokea ile bengo na hakabeba mimba mtoto wa roho mtakatifu na hakamzaa Yesu Kristo wa Nazareth katika kusudio lake la kwanza ya pili haitashindwa atakusudia kimbele bikira atamuhifadhi bikira Ataleta bengu Bikira yule atakuwa tayari kwa jine ile bengu Bikira atasema na iwe kwangu Kulingana na neno lako Na ule bikira atabeba mimba Mtoto wa roho mtakatifu Na Yesu Kristo Uzima alioishi umu Utazaliwa tena Ya kwanza hiko shindwa Ya pili haita shindwa kamwe Hamina Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake bwana. And the sermon today. Na somo siku ya leo ama mafundisho siku ya leo. Is not that the second one will not fail. Si ati ya pili haitashindwa. We are saying Tunasema hivi. The second one has succeeded. Ni kwamba ya pili imetendeka. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The second one has not failed. Hile ya pili haitashindwa. Imetendeka tayari. 
We thank God. Amen. Tapi syukur mung. Paul said in in, in Second Corinthians. Paul akasema katika Wakorintho wa pili. That I am jealous over you. Ya kwamba nawaoneni wivu na wivu wa Bwana. For I have exposed you to one husband. Maana nimewaposeni kwa mme mmoja. I present you as a chest virgin. Ili ni watalie kwa Kristo kama bikira safi. That is what Paul wanted to present. Hayo ndio Paulo alitaka kumpatia Kristo. But the church. Lakini kanisa. Failed because of what? Kashindwa kwa sababu gani? But I fear. Bali ninaongopa. That my enemies as the serpent beguiled Eve. Hili kwa jia yote kama vile nyoka alivyomdanganya hao kupitia ila yake ili ni yenyu ziharibiwe kwa hivyo tunapoteza wapi ubikira wetu tunapoteza wapi ubikira wetu au potezi ubikira katika nafsi yako ubikira unapotea katika tuwe pamoja You lose your virginity. Unapoteza ubikira wako katika nia yako, akili yako. He did not say that you be beguiled through his subtlety so your soul may be corrupted. Akusema no. hati tutadanganywa katika nafsi zetu. Alisema ili nia zetu ziharibiwe. The simplicity that is in Christ. Kutokana na unyofu ulio ndani ya Kristo. How? Vipi? For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. Akasema kama yule mwingine ajaye atamhubiri Yesu mwingine. These are the things that mess up your virginity. Haya ndio mambo ambayo yanaharibu ubikira wako sasa. Mtu akihubiri Yesu mwingine. Who we have not preached. Ambao sisi hatujamhubiri. Oh if you receive another spirit. Ama muipokee roho nyingine. Which you have not received. Ambao mjaipokea. Or another gospel. Hama injiri nyingine. Which you have not accepted. Ambao mjaikumbali. That you might well bear with him. Eh mnaweza kufumiliana naye. When you bear with that one. Mkifumiliana naye. You lose your virginity. Unaanza kupoteza ubikira wako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amina. You will not be ready. Au utakuwa tayari. Au uwezi kupokea ile bengo. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amina. And this is what the pastor eh uh, was reading to us in Jude. Na ndio mchungaji alikuwa anatusomea katika kitabu cha Yuda sura ya 3. That we keep the common salvation. Ya kwamba tu ule uokofu wa kawaida. Common salvation haimaanishi kawaida inamaanisha ule uokofu ambao tunaujua tayari sisi wote. The one that we know already we all of us. Try to improve on it. Atujaribu kuongeza ue bora. Common salvation. Uokofu tujuao. Contending. Tukipigania. Beloved when I gave all diligence to write unto you of wa, the common salvation. Waamini wakati nilitoa uh, ili niwaandikie kuhusu wokofu mjuao. Ilikuwa maana niwaandikie ili mpiganie ile imani which was once delivered unto the saints. Ambayo ilikabidhiwa watakatifu mara moja tu. But that virgin fell. Bali yule bikira aliyekabidhiwa iye alianguka. Kule ni care. So our worry is not about that virgin. Kwa hivyo shaka yetu si kule bikira alianguka. That one fell. Huyo alianguka. And that one fell because of only one reason. Na huyo alianguka kwa sababu moja tu. You are not bad. Hawakuwa hati. You are not better than them. Ninyi si bora kuliko wao. They fell just because of one reason. Walianguka kwa sababu moja. They were not predestinated to stand. Hawakusudiwa kimbele kusimama. They were not predestinated not to fall. Hawakusudiwa kimbele wasianguke. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake bwana. The common salvation. Imani tuijuayo ya kawaida. Ambao mitume walikuwa nayo. Kuna maandiko mamoja tu. Ambao umetupa ahadi. That will return us to that common salvation. Ya tatarudisha kwa hiyo imani moja. That will return us to that uh, faith. Ya tatarudisha kwa hiyo imani moja. Ambao ilipeanwa mara moja kwa watakatifu. Ya tatarudisha to the one Jesus. Kwa Yesu mmoja yule. To the one spirit. Kwa ile, ile roho moja. And to the one gospel. Na kwa injili ile moja. Na maandiko hayo ni malaki. Sura ya 4 mstari wa 5 na 6. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuri jina lake bwana. That I will send you Elijah. Ya kwamba nitawatumia ni Elia. One man. Mtu mmoja. The prophet. Nabi. Before the coming of the great and dreadful day. Kabla ijaje ile siku kuu ya kuongofya ya Bwana. Atende nini? He shall turn the hearts of the fathers to the children. Atengeuza mioyo ya kina baba iwaelekee watoto wao. Na mioyo ya watoto iwaelekee baba zao. Kama sivyo nitakuja kuipiga dunia na laana. Na laana. Sister Lydia find for me in Laodicean church a quote that says Do, do two things. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. So you cannot become a virgin. Hauwezi kufanyika bikira. Without Malachi 4 5 to 6. Pasipo Malaki 4 5 mpaka 6. Is it true? Ni kweli? 
Because it's only through Malachi 4, 5 and 6. Maana ni kupitia Malaki 4, 5 and 6. We turn to the same Jesus. Ambapo tunarudia Yesu ile. Injili ile ile. Na roho ile ile. Si ni ukweli. Amen. Sasa, and now Christians think virginity is good. Wa Kristo ufikiria ati ubikira ni utakatifu. That is why when they are told virgin. Ya sababu kiwabio bikira. They look at themselves. Oh wanajiangalia wenyewe. Wanasema mimi siwezi kuwa bikira katika neno. But a virgin means you are not contaminated with the doctrine. Lakini ubikira inamaanisha hujachanganyika na mafundisho ya wanadamu. Inamaanisha hujachanganyika na mafundisho ya kidhehebu ya Pentecoste. Hujachukua chochote kutoka kwenye nyakati za kanisa. Then you are a virgin. Basi wewe ni bikira. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Ingine the other one it's it's like ni kama a very nice lady. Um, sana mzuri sana. Beautiful young virgin. Mrembo ambaye ni mchanga na ni bikira. And you tell her you are very beautiful, you are very chaste. ni mrembo, wewe ni bikira na wewe ni msafi. You are a virgin. Wewe ni bikira. She said I cannot be a virgin. Anasema mimi siwezi kuwa bikira. Because my dress has a stain here. Maana nguo yangu hapa inadoa. You tell them that one we can I'm wash. That is about that. very small. I'm not talking about I'm that. Talking about inner purity. Na nena kuhusu usafi wa nani? Cleanliness. Usafi wa kindani. That is beyond what you are talking Kitu about. Kitu ambacho kinapita yale unaona. At in your dress there is some dust. You told you are a virgin. Unabiwa ni bikira. But you keep looking at your lies. Bali, waendelea kuangalia uongo wako. Unaangalia chuki yako. Unaangalia tamaa yako ya macho. Unaangalia kiburi chako. Keep looking at your Na unaangalia utaifu wako na kutumia yale unatilia shaka neno la Mungu wewe ni bikira wale wanaweza kuoshwa yale kuna jab solution shida ni kukumbali ujumbe katika usafi wake pasipo mafundisho ambayo yanashikilia mahala popote mafundisho yale ya mitume and there is only one man given Na kuna mtu mmoja amepewa to return us back to kazi ya kuturejesha kwenye ubikira aturudishe in the virginity kwenye ule ubikira wa baba zetu wa pentecoste na huyo ni malaki 4 and he says akasema that this messenger of malaki 4 huyo mjumbe wa malaki 4 na ufunuo 17 atatenda mambo mawili one Kitu cha kwanza Kulingana Malaki 4 atageuza mioyo ya watoto iwelekee baba zao Two, kisha he will reveal the mysteries of the seven thunders in Nambari ya pili atafunua siri ya zile ngurumo saba katika ufunuo sura ya 10 ambao ni ufunuo wa miuri saba it will be this divinely revealed mystery truth itakuwa ni hizi siri za kweli zilizofunuliwa kiungu ambazo ndizo hakika zitangeuza mioyo ya watoto iwarudie baba zao wa pentecoste sifuni jina lake bwana you reject this divinely unakataa kweli hizi zilizofunuliwa wa za Mungu hauwezi kuwa bikira Sifuni jina lake bwana bado utakuwa umechafuliwa bado utakuwa umechafuliwa bwana asifiwe sana so we have to accept this message lazima tukumbali ujumbe huu and then we gain our virginity na kisha tupate ubikira wetu sasa once we have gained our virginity, the seed has already come. Bengu tayari imekuja. You know there is nothing that is not ready. The seed is already here. Mbengu tayari hapa. It is struggling to get you. Inangangana ikupate wewe. And once it hits you there. Na ikikupata pale. It is a supernatural process. Hiyo ni jambo ya kiungu. Amina. So let us focus on this part. Na tutilie mkazo jambo hili. When the prophet was told take your pen and write. Wakati nabia libewa chukua kalamu yako wandike. In slide 17 Katika dukuya 17 This is the Holy Ghost himself Huyu ni Roma takatifu mwenyewe Who dictated to the prophet Ambaye alimwambia na ambia takaya andika Haka muambia andika haya From a little group Ya kwamba kutoka kwa kikundi kindogo Cha bengu ya kweli neno ya mungu Mungu Ata mtolia kristo bibiarusi mpendwa Ni bikira waneno lake she is a virgin because Ni bikira kwa sababu She is a virgin because Ni bikira kwa sababu she does not tell lies. Ati huwa danganyi? La. She does not lust. Ahawi na tamaya macho? La asha. She does not have bad thoughts in her mind. Hana mawazo mabaya ni animuake? La asha. Those are your thinkings. 
Holy Ghost himself. Roho Mtakatifu mwenyewe akasema hivi. She is a virgin because she knows no man made creeds. Nipikira kwa sababu hajui mapokeo ya wanadamu wote. If you know no man made creeds. Kama hujui kredi zozote za wanadamu. Kama mapokeo yoyote. Everything you believe. Na kila kitu chochote unaamini. Come directly from the mouth of God. Nitoka kutoka kwenye kinywa cha Mungu. You are a virgin. Wewe ni pikra. Because kwa sababu you know no man, no man made creeds. Hujui kredi zozote za wanadamu wala mapokeo. I can be a Gabriel this morning. Naweza kuwa malaika Gabriel asubuhi nisema. Umeberekiwa katikati ya wanawake wote. Blessed art thou. Heri ni wewe. By and through the members of the bride. Kupitia wao wale washirika wa bibi harusi. Itatimizwa yote yaliyoidiwa. To be made manifest in the world. Kudhihirishwa katika bikira. The word of promise came to the virgin Mary. Neno la ahadi likamjia bikira Mariamu. The word of promise was he himself. Lakini ahadi hiyo ilikuwa yeye mwenyewe. Ili yeye adhihirishwe. God was made manifest. Mungu adhirishwa. He himself acted at that time. Yeye mwenyewe wakati ule. He fulfilled his own word of promise in the virgin. Na akatimiza neno lake la ahadi katika bikira 44. He fulfilled at that time all that was written of him. Akatimiza yote aliyoandikwa kumhusu. Kwa nini? Because he accepted his word to her. Kwa sababu alikumbali neno la Mungu kwake. And today you will fulfill all that is written about you. Na leo utatimiza yote aliyoandikwa kuhusu wewe. Kwa nini? Because you will accept. Maana utakumbali what is written about you kilichoandikwa kuhusu wewe na iwe kwangu kulingana na neno lako amina don't remove your mind usiondoe nia yako from the simplicity that is in christ kutokana na unyofu uliyo ndani ya kristo it is this simple ni raisi hivi 25 the members of the virgin bride washirika wa bibi harusi ambaye ni bikira watampenda bwana they will have his potential watakuwa na uwezo wake maana yeye ndiye kichwa chao all power belongs to him na nguvu zote ni za bwana they are subject to him wao wanamtii as the members of our body are subject to our head vile viungo vya mwili wetu vinatii kichwa chetu notice the harmony of the father and the son unaona uhusiano wa baba na mwana jesus never did anything yesu hakutenda lolo it was first showed to him paka kwanza alipoonyeshwa 29 the harmony is now to exist between the groom and his bride uyana unapaswa kuepo katikati ya bwana harusi na bibi harusi wake she shows her his word of life anamuonyesha neno lake la uzima bibi harusi anaipokea na huwa itilii shaka therefore kwa hivyo basi nothing can harm you hakuna kitu cha kukudhuru wewe hata mauti for the seed be planted maana kama bengu imepandwa ndani yako maji which is the only god ambaye ni roho mtakatifu yataichipua tena from there it's an automatic process kutoka pale ni kazi ambayo ni ya moja kwa moja here is the secret of this siri ndio hii hapa sasa The word is in the bride. Sasa neno iko ndani ya bibi harusi. As it was in Mary. Kama vile ilikuwa ndani ya Mariamu. The bride has the mind of Christ. Na bibi harusi ana nia ya Kristo. For she knows what he wants done with the word. Maana bibi harusi anajua kile neno linapaswa kutendwa nacho. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifu ni jina lake bwana. She performs the command of the word. Of yeah. Of the word in his name. Anatenda hamri ya neno katika For jina lake. Na hana Bwana asema hivi. Neno imeuishwa na roho na itatukia katika maisha yako. Amina. Yours is the accepting. Chako ni kukumbali, kukumbali dugu dada. No matter how bad you think you are. Haijalishi unaona wewe ni mbaya kiasi gani. How far gone you think you are. Haijalishi umeingia katika dhambi kiasi gani. La ignore hiyo yote putilia mbali ignore your life futilia mbali maisha yako ignore what you know about yourself dharau mbali unaojua kujihusu mwenyewe vile mariamu alikuwa anajua no na akaweka mbali mawazo aliyokuwa nayo ndani mwake sababu kile kiko tayari kutendeka sio kama kazi ya kawaida ni jambo tofauti ambao wanadamu acha kumbana nalo kwa awali ni tofa, kitu tofauti ni majira tofauti about you usijua yale ambayo unajua wewe kuhusu mwenyewe 
Just say like Mary. Why can't I like Mariam? If it is like the way you have said, then let it be like that. And things to come to an end. It can't be you have come all the way from heaven, all this journey. You've come up to here. And you stop me going to fetch water. And then you start giving me greetings from heaven. And then you brought fake stories. If it is serious the way you've said it will happen, be it unto me, I'm ready. Uh, be, uh, be it unto me, I'm ready. You came on Mount Sunset. I was not even there. I myself was not even born. But he brought himself the mighty angel of Revelation 10, 7. He brought himself. No man would ask him to come. The prophet did not pray enough. At Father, the fatality means of no so they are coming. He was told, sir, please go to West. West. I will tell you something. It is his work. Yani ni kazi ya mungu. Amen. She performed the command of the word in his name. And she has us in the Lord. Then the word is quickened by the Spirit. It comes to pass. Like a seed that's planted. It comes to full harvest. 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 There is a work that God has put for you to do. And you must do that work. Now. Sasa. This time God cannot fail. Wakati Mungu hawezi kushindwa. This is his last shot. Eh ndio yake ya mwisho. Kama ile watu walikuwa naambia baba amebakia bullet moja. But he has remained with one bullet. Hii maneno ni kama bullet moja ya baba. This work is like the one we were saying. It is the last bullet. Kwa sababu yeye ni kufa kupona. The perfect God. Yule Mungu mkamilifu. He cannot fail. Hawezi kushindwa. This one is a sure shot. Yaani hii inapiga inalenga kweli kweli. That means there must be a people who will not receive denomination of creeds. They will not receive dogmas. They will not receive strange doctrines. They will not receive a message of yesterday. They will stay with the one. Not even because they wish to. Si kwa sababu ati wao wanataka kukaa hivyo. Si kwa sababu ati wameshauriwa wasifanye hivyo. Ni kwa sababu walikusudiwa kimbele ili wakaa hivyo. Amna ujumbe mwingine unaweza kuingia ni yani mwao. And I believe there are some here. Na naamini kuna wengine walio hapa. Lazima kuna wengine hapa asubuhi ya leo. Ambao kuna ujumbe mwingine ambao unaweza kupenya ni yani mwako. Kwa la uzazi limefukwa How do you want to Ambao Mungu watatimiza Katika kusudi ya pili Ambao kondani yake Kumina tano Bibi arusi wa kweli Thalatina tano Pata kuwa mmoja Yani hii nangufu kama It's even more powerful than let there be light. Eh, hata ile Mungu nuru. Because let there be light. Maana kuwe nuru. He was preparing an environment for this one. Alikuwa anatengeneza mazingira kwa ajili ya hii. Kwa hivyo hii ndio muhimu zaidi. Than let there be light. Kuliko ile ya kusema na kuwe nuru. Let there be light could not fail. Kuwe na nuru ingeshindwa. This one cannot fail. Hii haiwezi kushindwa. Tuko pamoja. Are we together? It cannot fail. Haiwezi kushindwa. The true bride, Hallelujah. Bibi arusi wa kweli, Hallelujah. There is going to be one. Pata kuwa moja. Why? Poni ni? She is predestinated. Ame kusudi wa kimbele ata kuwepo. Imamo si ya kubana. These things do not are not your workings. Kona mwenye we. It has the honor. She won't be denominated. Hata fanya kwa the hebu. Why? Poni ni? She is predestinated. Ali kusudi wa kimbele. She don't have to worry about some denomination. Hapa si kuwa na shaka kusuma the hebu flani. Poni ni? She is already. Predestinated. Look like Mary. Ona ni kama Mariamu. 
Praise the name of the Lord. Already predestinated. I hear some people saying, Oh, the message now is becoming a denomination. Which one? Which message? Unless you are following a different message. You cannot denominate. Even if we tried to denominate, you cannot denominate. Why? It's predestinated. <laughs> it cannot. She don't have to worry. Don't you don't need to Apasi worry. Kuanza kuwa na shaka na kupigwa na bubuazi. Ati watu wanafanya ujumbe uwe the hebu. You you are breaking the message. You are worrying like that. Uh, ati unaanza kupigwa na bubuazi hapa. This one cannot denominate. Hii haiwezi kufanyika the hebu hapa. When Christ comes to his bride. Wakati Kristo ajapo kwa bibi harusi wake. Be a virgin. Atakuwa bikira. Like Mary was. Kama vile Mariamu alivyokuwa. God will not bring Christ through a womb of a whore. Mungu hataleta Kristo kupitia tumbo la uzazi la kahaba. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. We are on uh, 38. Uh, tuko 38. Yes, hold on brother. Yes. And neither will he bring the bride. Hata atamleta bibi harusi. cannot bring his word through a hole. How is he kuleta bibi harusi wake kupitia kahaba wa neno lake? A hole. Kahaba is somebody who receives seed. Ni mtu anayepokea bengu. From another source. Kutoka chemichemi nyingine. That's not the mouth of the Lord. Ambao si kinywa cha Bwana. So if I came here Kwa hivyo ningekuja hapa and I preached to you something jambo, from this bible kutoka kwenye biblia hii but it is me who read lakini ni mimi niliyesoma and I prayed na nikaomba and I waited upon the lord na nikamgoja bwana to deliver to me a, a revelation aniletee ufunuo mimi what it says wa maandiko yale i am making you hoes na wafanya muwe makahaba you say amen to that ukisema amina kwa hiyo you cannot bring forth hawezi jesus christ hawezi kubeba mimba ya bwana yesu kristo because you have been manhandled maana umeshikashikwa na mikono michafu by human creeds na ma, human dogs na mapokeo na mafundisho ya wanadamu beware of preachers who preach directly from the bible na muongope wahubiri wanaohubiri moja kwa moja kutoka kwa biblia pasipo kunuku ujumbe stay away from those preachers kamba ninawahubiri wale and i'm not saying they are false preachers na sisemi ni wahubiri wa uongo maybe some of them could be true preachers huenda wengine ni wahubiri wa ukweli all i am saying kile ninachosema the risk is not worth it ya kwamba hatari iliyo pale ni kali sana i am not judging them mimi si wahukumu i am not condemning them mimi si wakenjeli maybe they have memorized the quotes labda wametafakari yale zile nuku Uh, sijui lakini wewe uliyeketi pale you are taking a risk wewe unahatarisha maisha yako i think when i put it on the measuring scale lakini kiweka kwenye mizani it is better to listen to the one that is quoting ni vema kusikiza yule ambaye anasoma na anadukuu sasa una hakika iliyopotoka na kiini chake na vile ilivyosemwa unaweza kupitia katika ujumbe wote kutoka imani ni kitu halisi mpaka ushirika na uone kama inaingiana na una nguvu nyingine sijui I am not sure where the source. Me I would rather avoid. Ni vema ni kwepe kabisa. As a personal opinion. Eh hiyo ni ni wazo langu mimi mwenyewe. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. In the Bible, katika Biblia, you can see it in the, in, the, in, the, in, in Leviticus 21:7 or Ezekiel 44:22. Mwanza kuona katika mambo ya Alawi ama kitabu cha Ezekiel. But a priest could not marry a woman who is not a virgin lakini kuani yake muoa mwanamke ambaye hakuwa bikira hakuwa meruhusiwa and jesus christ is a priest na yesu kristo ni kuani in the order of melchizedek katika mfano wa melchizedek na yeye hudumu kuani milele he cannot break his own word hawezi kulifunja neno lake na hawezi kushikanisha kushikanisha na mwanamke ambaye si bikira who has been manhandled ambaye ameshikashikwa na mikono michafu na mafundisho ya wanadamu Where are we? That you 40 when Christ the word comes to the bride. Wakati eh Kristo neno ajapo kwa bibi harusi. The same as he is. Atakuwa kama a virgin by the word. Atakuwa bikra kwa neno. And when his bride comes she'll be the same product that he is virgin. Na bibi harusi wake atakapokuja atakuwa bila ile ile atakuwa bikra. Did Christ belong to a denomination? Je, yeah. 
Kristo alikuwa adhabu yoyote. Did Jehovah? Yeah, Jehovah alikuwa adhabu yoyote. Neither does his bride. Hata bibi harusi yake haiwezi kuwa bibi. Tunakuwa na material moja. Yaani we are just one material. Tuko material moja na Mungu. Yaani ile kitu Mungu amefanya. What God has done? Tunaangalia Yesu wa Nazareth. We just look at Jesus Christ of Nazareth the way he was here. We know we are just like Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Those are our people now. Those are our relatives. We look If they did not we cannot. If they did not become this, we cannot become that. She's a part of him. And same yake. She needs no dogma. Haitaji hata mapokeo yote. Hata kuwa na yote. Absolutely virgin. Hata kuwa bikira kabisa. Kupitia kwa neno. Amen. Amina. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Are you seeing where our virginity comes from? Unaona mahali bikira wetu unakotoka? Understand the source of your virginity. Mwelewe chemi chemi ya bikira wetu. You doubt your virginity. Maana ukitilia shaka ya bikira wako. Spiritual virginity. Bikira wa kiroho. You will doubt the seed. Utatilia shaka ile bengu. Bengu itakapokuja. You will not accept it. Au utaikumbali. Because you believe you are not virgin. Maana utakuwa unaamini wewe sio yule bikira. You are looking at your outward. Unaangalia uso wako nje huku nje kwako. And God is not even interested. Na Mungu hata apendezi na. Not even going to clean that one. Hata hata safisha mwili wako. Hiyo atakuvua aiweke kando. That one you remove from you and put it aside and say is the one who has put that on you. Yeye ile nguo unaenda kuolewa nayo. He is the one who is going to give you the clothes you going to get married with. You are looking at the one you are wearing now. Inafanya uweke shaka katika neno la Mungu. And it makes you doubt the word of God. That you are pure bunch of hujapokea mafundisho ya Because you have not received to the dogmas of men the rest he will take care of hale mengine yeye atajali bwana your salvation is in predestination wakofu wako washakusudia kimele in psalms 51 hata zaburi ya 51 david moja. had seen daudi alipokuwa amlia ya kwamba mbegu ya uraya when he went to repent alipoenda kulipisa kisasi did not tell god restore unto me my salvation akumwambia atinirudishie wakofu wangu alikuwa na ufunuo wa kutosha alijua kwamba wakofu wake ni wakukusudiwa kibele aliomba restore unto me the joy nirejishie tu furaha ya ule wakofu wangu that is when you have been clothed with this ni wakati umefikwa na haki yake you get the joy unapata furaha ya wakofu wako salvation is by wakofu wako ni kwa kusudiwa kimbele hey. amina amazing amina ya jambo ya ajabu kia tumbo ikianza kunisokota wajua kuna siku tulienda no, there is a day we went tulienda kuhubiri na brother moses went to preach with brother moses uganda kwa prison uh, kule uganda kolokoroni kwa basi ya usiku mpaka busia uh, and we took a bus by night to busia tukavuka tukaenda tukahubiri then we cross the border we went and preached the whole day kwa ma, kwa ma, kwa, ma, kwa ma gereza huko the whole day uganda uh, had jails there at uganda When you are coming back Jioni sasa tumemaliza tumechoka in the evening we were tired kwa ofisi ya modern coast we were at the office of the modern coast hapo busia they are at busia mimi nilikuwa na njaa i was very angry brother moses i told brother moses sote nitoke hapa let me move out of here nitafute nitutafute njugu eh we look for ground nuts njugu ni safe i thought that ground nuts are safe when you are you are going for a journey brother moses akasema sawa brother moses told me it's okay I went and brought some crown nuts. Uh, the good thing about people from western they know something about crown nuts. Here we don't know much about crown nuts. I saw Moses tested one amelenga hiyo story and then that story stopped asema huyu brother kwani yako anataka njugu na yako anasema asem this brother he doesn't want some groundnuts and he told me to then i went continue eating groundnuts i went eating groundnuts Then we hand at modern coast and we started the journey. Tukifika Kisumu naanza kusikia. Ni Kisumu I had. Ai. Na, nope. Naanza kutoa jasho jembamba kidogo. I started swimming. Nikasema mwanaume ni kujikaza hapa. I say the man is to Wacha nikuambie tukipita Muhoroni. Let me tell you when we were past Muhoroni. Naenda sasa kutokea hiyo junction sijui inaitwa aje. Ni rondia ni Nirondiani eh uh, to Rondiani Nakwambia jasho ilikuwa imeisha yani uh, imetoa jasho imeisha kwa kichwa sijui nakuanga imeisha The sweat has already been drained from my mind The sweat was already over Basi menyamaza kingi na mtu amelala Bas was quiet and everybody was asleep Nikajua sasa hapa nitaisha I knew now I am done 
Nikasimama nikaenda nikaambia driver. I saw that when I told the driver, please stop this bus. He told he told me, do you know this bus? Why are you telling me to stop the bus? Wait we arrive at Nakuru. Moses are you okay brother? Uh, Moses asked me. This, this is not the time to call brother. I told the brother in loud voice. If you don't stop this bus now, there are things that are going to go bad in this bus. Everybody was awake. The driver saw this man. The way he has shouted things are bad. The bus was stopped. In front of everybody. Uh, there are some things that come. It's <laughs> about you start you start uh, fighting for your life. But for now I'm okay. If you see outside the chorus, if I go there, please. You will understand me. Amen. Let's continue. The bride will punctuate every word with an amen. It's not a wish. It's because that is the way she was counted to. With an amen. 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 She'll punctuate every word. Ataweka kikomo kila neno. Ana Mungu anasema kwa Amina. Amen. Oh, amina. Lo. Be it unto me. Na iwe kwangu. According to thy word. Kulingana na neno lako. Oh my. Lo jamani. There you are. Hapo ndipo lipo. Punctuating every word with an amen. Uki, ukiweka kikomo kila neno na Amina. Punctuating does not mean. Haimaanishi that you can see it all manifested in your life. Unaweza kuiona yote kidhirika maishani mwako. Punctuating is saying amen. Kuweka kikomo kila mali na amina. That whatever you've said even if I've not seen it in my life. Bali ya kwamba ni yangu. I accept that it is mine. And if I continue the work. I'll come and see it in my own eyes. That is what we call punctuating. Hiyo ndio tunasema kukumbali kila neno. You are called to punctuate. Umeitwa kukumbali. Your calling is to punctuate. Wito wako ni kukumbali kila neno kusema Amina, kwa kusema Amina. Then it can happen. Na inaweza kutendeka. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. That is why ndio sababu the devil only removed one thing. Ibilisi aliondoa kitu kimoja tu from the entire Bible. Kutoka kwa Biblia yote. And gave Christians. Na akawapa wakristo. Alitoa Acts 2:38. Eh, he only removed Acts 2:38. That is the thing he removed. And he gave the other ones so that they can be confused. He gave Pentecost so, so that they can receive the Holy Spirit of speaking tongues and the others to be holy. And the others, everybody was given something. Uh, something there. So they have a house which is clean, but they don't have a key, but they cannot enter there. The, the angel of Malachi 4. His work is to give us that key. He brought to us Acts 2 that, Acts 2, that eight. using that Acts 2 that eight, we have access to become virgins. Una, una Praise the name of the Lord. Because once we use that key, and we repent, we are able to enter into the kingdom of God. And we repent. Na tutubu. Then we have repented Tumetubu with the same gospel na that was once delivered to you. Once you have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you have received the same Jesus yes, ule ule. who was preached by Amba the apostles. And once you receive the gift of the Holy na Spirit, you have received umepokea. the same spirit that was once delivered to you. You have entered. You have entered. You have received your virginity. Umempokea ubikira wako. Sasa kuna kitu cha kukomesha. Unasema na iwe kwangu. Kulingana na neno lako. Woo! Lo. Pole kwa kushout. Dickons msinikujie niko sawa. 
Lakini kitu ni tamu. But this thing is so sweet. Then he asked to that it ikatolewa tu hii. You know to ask to that it was just removed. Wakapatiwa katika nyakati za saba. And they were given in the seven churches. So that they can confuse themselves with the other parts of the Bible. Wakachukua mguu anaweka kwa kichwa. They took the leg put in there. And the nose where they had is supposed to be. They take the leg they put in there. They have confused themselves totally. Na kumbe Mungu ameficha key. And God has I hidden the key. Wakati wa mwisho in the last days, there are very few people who can accept that key. I believe you are seated here being unbeliever because you accepted that key. Remember the message God in simplicity. Kumbuka ujumbe uitoa Mungu katika uongo wake. Usisahau ujumbe huo. It is very important. Ujumbe wa muhimu sana. Forty-five. You say, well, yes, we are Presbyterian now. We are Methodist. I don't care what you are. If you hear the real voice of God, and the real voice of God made them people act like that. Na sauti ya Mungu ni lifanya watu atende vivi. Na kutenda hivyo. Have a ministry like that. Wawe na uduma kama hiyo. The same power of God will do the same thing today. Zile zile za Mungu zitatenda hivyo leo kama umezipata. That is right. Hiyo ni sahihi. If you received it, kama ulipokea, it will act on you. Ita kutendea kazi. Like it did to them. Kama ilivyofanya kwao. Certainly it is. Akika itatenda. Peter said. Petro akasema. This is the prayer. Prescription. The devil took away the prescription. Now it has been restored to us. Now it has been restored to us. Sasa to merejeshewa. So you people who are making up a bunch of man-made dogma. Kwa hivyo nyinyi watu ambao mnatengeneza mapokeo ya wanadamu na mnaita mafundisho. Mnaita credo. Church creeds. Uh, Kati credo za kanisa. Wa Presbyterian, Methodist, wa Baptist. And even Pentecostal. Hata wa Pentecost. There are Pentecostal creeds. Kuna credo za Kipentecost. Na unaulizwa. And you are being asked. What is the matter with you? Shida yenu ni nini? Take God's prescription. Chukueni dawa ya Mungu. Mama elezo ya Mungu. You know people think watu wanafikiri that pentecostalism kwamba upendekoste is what we see around here ah ni kile kurukaruka kule ambako tunakuona huku nje a pentecostal blessing is transitional baraka ya kipentecoste huwa inahamishwa kutoka pande moja hadi nyingine niwasomea yako can i read for you that amekuja tu kwa kichwa the way it has come in my mind kuna easter seal nipatie easter seal easter seal paragraph 43 you can be able to get it kama unaweza kuipata so that we answer this ili tujibu jambo hili because what people call pentecost maana kitu wanachoita pentecoste ni crede because it's a message from yesterday maana ni ujumbe wa jana because you found ah fantastic thank you thank you my sister paul is ordaining this gift into the church paulo anaweka vipawa hivi kanisani 30 years later miaka 30 baadaye said in galatians 1:8 kasema angalatia 1:8 if an angel from heaven preaches to you any other gospel hata kama malaika kutoka mbinguni ataumbilia injili nyingine which is already received isipokuwa hii mliyoipokea already been preached ambao tayari imehubiriwa na halaaniwe anyone bringing anything let them be mwingine yote atakayeleta kingine halaaniwe i believe that pentecost began without an end ninaamini kwamba Pentecoste ilianza pasipo kuisha. So it began at Acts 2:38. Ilianza matendo ya mitume 2:38. And it began without an end. Na ilianza na itafika mwisho. Hii Pentecoste inenye inaisha. This Pentecoste comes to an end people keep going. Another one comes up. Another one revival. Wanapiga mayo. Then people make a lot of noise and they keep quiet. Another one comes. Hiyo si Pentecoste ya ujumbe. That is not the Pentecoste of the message began without an end. Pentecost ilianza na itafika mwisho. I believe. Na ninaamini. It is to be to every creature. Pentecost inapaswa kwa kila kiumbe, kila wakati. Mahali kote. That Pentecost should always remain. Pentecost inapaswa kudumu. Pentecost blessing should be upon the people. Ki baraka za Pentecost inapaswa kuwa juu ya watu. What is the Pentecost of? Je, baraka za Pentecost ni nini swali? It's a confirmation of the resurrection. Ya kufufuka. No wonder the gospel itself means good news. Si ajabu injili manake ni habari jema. Habari jema ya nini? Ya kwamba alifufuka kutoka kwa wafu and because I live. Na kwa sababu ni hai. Hata nanyi mtaishi. When you manifest the life of Jesus. Ukidhirisha maisha ya Yesu Kristo. Hapa duniani. Baraka za Pentecoste ziko juu yako. You which were once dead in sin. Enyi ambao mlikuwa umekufa wakati mmoja katika dhambi na makosa. Mungu amewaoisha pamoja. By that spirit. Kwa roho huyo 
aliyemfufua Yesu Kristo kutoka kwa mauti na sasa tuna keti katika upeo wa kimbinguni pamoja naye tukishiriki naye tukizungumza naye ni furaha kiasi gani kuambia watu wa bidhi hiyo But it's not everybody who will believe. Lakini sio kila mtu atakaye amini. Lakini ni furaha kuambia watu wa ndidi hiyo kwa wanaoamini jambo hili kuwa ni kweli. The only ones who can believe this. Wale ambao wanaweza kuamini hii ni wale ambao walikusudiwa kimbele. Amen. Is the name of the Lord. Sifu ni jina lake bwana. Hapo sijaona picha inabirika. Eh. That one I've not seen Raban pencil and T in a keto. Mumeona beraba na pencil wapi? Have you seen rubber and pencils here? Ama ingine pasta na sawanga nini? Ya kudum ndoku dum eh? Yeah. Ile kudum ndoku dum ndoku kuna kitu ana. Rongo mtupu rongo mtupu. Rongo mtupu. Rongo mtupu. Yo umeona hapa? Have you seen rongo mtupu here? What is the Pentecostal blessing? Je, baraka ya Pentecoste ni nini? It is the proof of Ni thibitisho ya kule kufufuka. How do you prove? Unathibitishaje ule ufufuo? Because I live. Kwa sababu ni hai. Hata nawe utakuwa hai. Naweza kuangalia? Nione tabia zingine. Za Yesu Kristo wana saleti. And then I know that the Pentecostal blessing. Nione baraka za Pentecoste ziko juu ya kanisa lake. Praise the name of the Lord. Si jina lake bwana. That is why he is saying. Ndio sababu anasema. In 48. 48. That church creeds. Ya kwamba kredo za kanisa. Presbyterian. Za Presbyterian. Za Methodist. Za Baptist. Even Pentecostal creeds. Hata kredo za Pentecoste. What is the matter with you? Je, yeah, shida yenu ni nini? Take God's prescription. Chukueni maelezo maangizo ya Mungu. 58 cannot do it. Haiwezi kutenda hivyo. Now is the seed time. Uni wakati wa bengu. Or bright. Ama wakati wa bibi harusi. Sharks are dead. Makapi yamekufa. Makapi yamenyauka. It's the virgin word time. Ni wakati wa neno iliyo bikra. Not touch. Ambayo ijaguzwa. Don't allow any preacher to touch. Usiruhusu mhubiri yeyote angunguze wewe. Whether it's in a church. Iwe ni kanisani or it is on youtube ama ni kwenye mtandao wa youtube or it is on a website ama kwenye mtandao fulani it does not matter am haijalishi if this message kama ujumbe huu is not the cornerstone kama sio hile jiwe la pembeni hii verbatim eh, ambayo inashikilia quoted verbatim ili nukuliwa kimdomo you are allowing a man to touch you ah unamruhusu mwanadamu akunguze nguze But this virgin is not touched. Lakini bibi harusi huyu hajanguzwa. It's a virgin word time. Ni, bi, ni wakati wa bikra, wakati wa neno bikra. It in the hands of a denomination it won't be virgin. Ukiweka mikononi mwa madhehebu haitakuwa bikra tena. It will be manhandled. Ikishakashikwa na mikono ya wanadamu by a, michafu. By a pastor, na mchungaji, na mwijilisti, na mwalimu, an apostle. Na mtume. It will not it will not It will, it will not get it. Haitakuwa bikra. It will not be a virgin. Haitakuwa bikra. It must be direct. Lazima itoke moja kwa moja. It will not be manhandled. Lazima itoke ipasi kushikashika na mikono michafu. Ikishikashika na mikono michafu, samahani. But God's church is not touched by denomination. Lakini kanisa la Mungu haiguzi na madhehebu. Haleluya. The virgin. Ni bikra. Born word of God. Iliyozaliwa na neno la Mungu. It manifests. Ikidhirika. Haleluya. Amina. It is seed time. Ni wakati wa bengu. I think we have made a point of what is a virgin. Natumai tumeelewa sasa bikra ni nini? Ubikra ni nini? Bwana asifiwe sana. Mm-hmm. It is the time for the seed. Ni wakati wa bengu. Mary was still a virgin from the day she was born. Mariamu alikuwa tu bikra wa kiduniani kutoka siku alipozaliwa. And all those days. Na masiku hayo yote. She was a virgin, isn't she? Alikuwa tu bikra. But there came a time. Lakini pakaja wakati. It was seed time. Ilikuwa ni wakati wa bengu sasa. There was a difference. Palikuwa na tofauti. This whole time she was a virgin. Wakati wote alipokuwa bikra, it was time for maintaining. Ilikuwa wakati wa kujihifadhi. Maintaining. Kuhifadhi. Isn't it? Amina. That job even reformers can do. A kazi hiyo hata warejeshaji waweza kutenda. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. But when it comes to seed time. Lakini sasa ikifika wakati wa kupata bengu. This no one else can do that work. Hakuna mwingine wa kutenda kazi hiyo. These are the work of maintaining. Eh hao wako ambao ni wa kuhifadhi tu. Mary had her parents. Ah Maria alikuwa na wazazi wake wa kumhifadhi. They were telling her don't play around with the boys. Let me not see you uh, laughing with the men outside there. Do not go and fetch water alone. 
ikifika 6 ni kuone kwa nyumba at 6 i want to see you in the house kulikuwa kazi ya watu wengi na baba yake there was work of many even the mother the father she had all the siblings and uh, nduguze wote ilikuwa harambe it was a work of many people virginity. to maintain that virginity Just of many it happens for every other young girl kama inavyotendeka kwa msichana mwingine yote mchana si kweli but seed time lakini wakati wa bengu haiwezi kuwa harambe it cannot be for everybody bengu inaweza kutoka kwa mtu mmoja peke yake this seed can come from one man only hapo it's yeah. an individual affair in the jambo la mtu binafsi between the virgin katikati ya yule bikira and the seed giver na yule anayetoa bengu between mary katikati ya mariamu and jehovah himself na yehova mwenyewe the time we are living in now wakati tunaoishi sasa it's not the time for maintaining virginity si wakati wa kuhifadhi ubikira no 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 alalala no. It is a time to meet the seed giver. Ni wakati wa kukutana na anayepeana bengu. Ana sababu alisema visit you according to the time. Itakuzuru wakati wa uzima. And this is the time of life. Na hundi wakati wa uzima. It is the day of our visitation. Ni siku ya kuzuriwa kwetu kutembelewa kwetu. Amina. It is seed time. Ni wakati wa bengu. But the virgin must accept. Lakini bikira yule lazima akumbali. Pregnation. Eh kudungwa mimba. Wengi wanakataanga. Mm. Many refused. You, you remember Queen Vashti? You remember Queen Vashti? The problem was not that she did not come to the party. Uh, the, 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 the king had many parties after parties. Who brother to mikono Nisawa, nisawa. <laughs> Nani ukweli? And it is true. Kwa sababu hata hapo Esther alitengeneza party moja. Because one time Esther had one party. Na hiyo party ni organizing committee of the next party. And that one was organizing committee for the next party. So kulikuwa na mapati, yakuku ati wamekosa party. There was party after party. Nabasti alikuwa bibi ya mfalme. And the first was the queen of the king. Hapo alikuwa ameenda mingi. So she had gone to many parties. Isn't it? Ni ile tu kuboeka anasema huyu jamaa saa yote ah is because she was born ajipange. and she said uh, let him ajipange huko but she refused the seed lakini first alikata ile bengu hiyo ndio ilikuwa shida it was the day of the seed because it was ilikuwa wakati wa bengu and she refused to come na akakataa kuja on the day of the seed siku ya ile bengu she had to be put away hilibidi afurushwe she rejected the seed alikata bengu of the king bengu ya mfalme So seed time is very critical. Hivyo wakati wa bengu ni wa muhimu sana. You must accept the seed. Lazima ukubali ile bengu. You must accept the invitation. Lazima ukumbali kule kualikwa. We are living in seed time. Tunaishi wakati wa bengu. When the seven seals are broken. Ambapo miuri saba imevunjwa. And release the seed. Na wakaachilia ile bengu. It does not matter which other scriptures you believe. Haijalishi unaamini maandiko mengine yapi. It does not matter. Haijalishi. Whether you have read the Bible from Genesis Kama umesoma Biblia kutoka Mwanzo mpaka ufunuo mbele na nyuma. Nothing that matters inachojalisha is that you believe Luke 17 ni kama unaamini Luka mtakatifu 17:30 eh malaki 4:5 to 6 to 7 na ufunuo 11 hadi 7 hebrews 13:8 wa hebrewia 13:8 scriptures that have been hand picked maandiko ambayo yalikuwa yamechukuliwa hapa na pale na yalikuwa yamewekwa pamoja kwa ajili yetu na yakapeana kwetu kama bengu those few scriptures haya maandiko machache hapo ndio bengu believe them without a question amini pasipo swali you have not rejected the king na ujakataliwa na wakati wa bengo Kwa hivyo hapo Vashti alijichanga So there Vashti confused herself Alijichanganya Mhm mm Saingine bibi ni vizuri saingine Sometimes why it's good Kama uelewi kitu vizuri If you not understanding something proper Kuwa tatu uh, Just just follow just follow Just follow your husband. Kuna kabaraka katika uongozi wa mzee. Uh, there is some blessing that comes with the leading Kuna of your husband. There is some blessing. Sasa ingine inaweza kuwa alikuwa amefanya decision makosa. There is sometimes maybe he decided wrongly. Lakini wewe unafuata. But you just follow. Ukimuombea apate kaufunuo. Praying for him so that he can get some liberation. Lakini umwekee mabishano. But you don't bring about uh, Unamwambia uh, eh, ni sawa, ni sawa. You, you tell him okay, it's okay. Mimi niko huku nikiomba. I'm on this side praying for you. Utawakuta siku mbili amekuja kuruka. You find two days he comes and asks you. Ama ulikuwa unafikiriaje wewe? Oh, oh, what what, what are you thinking about this one because? Kwani na wewe hauna mafikira kwa hii jambo? You mean that you are not you don't 
one of your input on this thing. You have gotten your chance now. Then you put your word there. Then he says, I had not thought it that way. But if you start hunting on the first day, that project will continue, not because it's good. It's because a man must feel a man in his house. Hmm. <laughs> that is, I've given you some wisdom. Mm. <laughs> Pastor made me a laugh. He was saying, we were talking and then he told me this way. Uh, have you ever thought? Jonah. Jonah, after coming back home, he told his wife, <laughs> they were asked, where have you been for three days? <laughs> so Jonah must have kept quiet. And then he says, how am I going to put it? So that it comes out right. He said, this one has no way of saying it. He said, <laughs> And be swallowed by a fish. So, Pastor, I was saying, I was saying, I was saying, you miss stupid <laughs> people in this place. You so see that I am the stupid person to come and tell me that you had been swallowed by a whale. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotten used to me very badly. You cannot even use some small brains before you come and lie to me. <laughs> this man was inside the womb of a way. So instead of giving him some time, benefit of doubt. Hallelujah. The virgin must accept pregnancy. Lazima bikra akumbali kudungwa mimbakule. Listen to this and the important point. That Christ is now taking 65. That Christ is now taking himself a bride to be pregnated with his own seed one in her womb. Uh -huh. Spirit womb where? Not in the soul. Be it unto me, conception. Remember, Remember kwangu, the virgin has conceived. Do you believe the message of the hour here Namini, in your mind? Ujumbe wakati hapa ni Do you believe it? True. Namini, ujumbe wakwe, wakati Without nam. putting doubt in it. Pasipo kuitilia shaka. And going to confirm with believe the sign. Where na kuenda kuthimbitisha na kuamini ili ishara. You believe it. Unayamini. Like a child. Kama mtoto mchanga. You believe it foolishly. Unaamini kijinga. You are a fool of Yo. this message. Wewe ni mjinga katika ujumbe wake. The virgin has conceived. Sasa bikira amebeba mimba. May that be your encouragement as we end the year. Na hiyo iwe kutia moyo kwetu tunapokamiliza. Ya kwamba bikira tayari amebeba mimba. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake bwana. Mary did not need to worry. Ah Mariamu hakuhitaji kuwa na shaka. And this child will have legs and arms. And how will it look like? That was not her business. Hiyo ilikuwa kazi yake. She just went to celebrate together with Elizabeth. Those things had already happened. In her mind. And you won't mix it with any denomination or trash with it. Na hauta changanya na uchafu wote wakidehebu. You are a virgin to him. Wewe ni bikira kwake. Let nobody threaten us here. This thing is ours. This message we stop on it with our legs because it is ours. Nobody will de-Christianize us. We will not be branded less believers. It is ours. Yetu. Because because if you have accepted in your mind Kama and you have not mixed it with denomination na na uchafu wa you are a virgin. Wewe ni In the greatest battle ever fought, your mind it. It. it grasps it. What is your mind controlled by? Your spirit. And your spirit catches the 
That is the thing that got life in it. Hicho ndicho kitu kilicho na uzima ndani yake. It brings life in you. Na kinaleta uzima ndani yako. Your spirit is your mind. Roho wako ni akili zako. If you abide in me. Kama mtaishi ndani yangu. My words abide in you. Na neno langu na rieno. Then ask what you will. Muombe mtakalo. And it will be done. Nanyi mtatendewa kwa kwenu. Then what does that do? Basi hiyo itafanya nini? Sasa hii ni kazi ya mtu mwingine si yako. The work of another person. Hapa, uh, you just accepted here. From the middle of the heart. Kutoka katikati ya moyo wako. Ambapo kuna nafsi pale. It goes forth feeding every channel. Inaendelea kulisha kila jia. What is it feeding from? Inakula kutoka kwa nini? The word that you put here. Neno ulioweka hapa akilini mwako. It is not you pushing it down to Sio wewe unasukumia neno ingie kwenye nafsi. Sio wewe unasindiria neno kila siku. You know the one who is pushing Wee the word daily. Unakaa katika kitabu. I what I said in my mind. Uh, for 20 years. Ingia huko ndio kwa down in the, the soul. Ni yenyewe inajivutia. It is self it draws. Just like the fetus. Ni kama kile kitoto kidogo kinapoumbika katika tumbo ya uzazi. Mama hananga mdomo mmoja hapa. The mother does not have one mouth here. Na ingine hapa ya and mdomo. another one here for the child. Sidio. Nam. Anakula ile mdomo mmo? Hey, she hits with one mouth. You have only one mouth. You have only una mdomo mmoja tu? Your mind. Ambao ni nia yako akili yako. Mdomo mwingine ya kando. There is no other mouth aside. Kuingiza neno katika nafsi. To put the word in the soul. Mdomo ni mmoja tu. Eh uh, the mouth is this Kama one only. Mzazi, sidio. It's like the mother child. Lakini akijakula. But when she hits the mother. Ingia huko ndani. When it gets in there. Kale kanajua kujivutia. That child knows how to draw itself for itself. Na sio kazi ya mama tena. And it is not the work of the mother again. Kale kanajivutia That child knows how to pull the word. Haka katavuta hili neno umeweka. This hapa. one will pull the word that you put here. And it will feed every channel. Na itafilisha kila jia. Every channel. Kila jia. Your memory inajazwa eh, kanene. Kumbukumbu kumbu lako inajazwa na neno. Na na kukumbuka akili yako na dhamiri yako inajazwa na neno. It is put in all the channels. And I was on Dream ya sister Shepherd. And I usome ile ndoto ya dada Shepherd. Katika ujumbe unaitwa In the message call Blasphemous names. Majina ya kukufuru. The five streams. Zile njia tano. Coming down the mountain. Ah ambayo inachuka kwenye ule mlima. Ikilisha katika kila jia. Inajivutia. It draws for itself. The trouble of it is Shida yake ni kwamba we are standing in here with a lot of doubt. Tunasimama hapa tukiwa na shaka nyingi sana. Trying to accept. Tunajaribu kukumbali what is out there. Kilicho nje kule. Yaani tunaangalia. We are looking here and there. Tunapima. And then we measure. Tunasema hapa tunaonaga Then you say here we should, we should see that brother Kinywa is really stout in the world. If I can be like brother Kinywa. Maybe I will know when the rapture comes today I'll be in the rapture. So kila siku so every day unajua wewe unajua kila kitu ambao unafanyaga. You know everything that you do. Lakini Kinywa unamuonaga tu hapa kanisani. But you <laughs> you, use, you just see Kinywa here in church. Isn't it? Sure. So you are working with a lot of information about yourself. Kwa hivyo unafanya kazi ukijijua sana. And very little information about the person you are comparing yourself. Na kidogo kuhusu mtu ambaye unajilinganisha naye. Hey, that mathematics can't be correct. Hiyo hesabu haiingi. That mathematics can't be correct. Hapa ikitengenezwa TV kubwa juu ya kichwa ya kila mtu inayekwa screen. If you have a big screen over the mind of everybody's life. We will close this church and give up. It is the truth. Ni ukweli. Tutasema kulingana na vile tumeona. We'll say according to the cinema that we have seen. Hata kuna makampuni zikuwa ninataka kukodesha warehouse. There are some companies that wanted to lend warehouse. Sikuje sande tafadhali. Let us not come on Sunday. This church has failed. This church kanisa hii imeshindwa. Hakuna hata mmoja. Diposa Mungu akaficha. That is why God eed. Akakuonyesha yako. He showed you yours. Usilinganishe na dada yako na ndugu yako. Do not compare yourself with your sister your brother. Because they yes you don't know. Unajua ile anakuonyesha. You only know what he shows you. Yako linganisha na neno peke yake. Only compare yours with the word. Ndio Nabii anasema tunaweka shaka mingi. The prophet says we put a lot of doubt. Tukijaribu kukubali. Try to accept but what we see outside here. That's the trouble of it. Hiyo ndio shida yetu kubwa. You've got to stop that. Lazima ukomeshe kulinganisha huko. And come down that channel. Na uje katika jia hiyo. With the true word of God. Katika neno la kweli la Mungu. And then it will go itself automatically. Alafu jambo hili litakuja tu moja kwa moja. 
Why? Kwa nini? Because it's hot on the inside. Kwa sababu ni kilicho ndani. Feed the inside. Eh kinalisha kilicho ndani. Lord your mind with the word. Wewe weka neno mingi sana katika akili yako. Before you open your Facebook app. Kabla hujafungua tofauti yako ya Facebook. Before you check your WhatsApp. Kabla hujafungua tofauti ya WhatsApp. Before you check your emails. Kabla hujaangalia barua zako za elektroniki. Read a paragraph. Soma tu para moja. Soma para moja. Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake Bwana. Make it habitual. Na uifanye kuwa jambo la kila wakati. Written in my heart. Neno lako nimeificha moyoni mwangu. Ili nisikutendee dhambi. That's what David said. Hiyo ndio Daudi aliyosema. Make it habitual. Wa ifanye kuwa tabia ya kila siku. Then you will get what on the inside. Utapata kilicho ndani. The other one will leave itself automatically. Ile kingine kitajiishi chenyewe. It is seed time. Ni wakati wa bengu. Weka mbegu. Put the seed. You are already a virgin. Tayari wewe ni pikira. Weka mbegu. Please put the seed inside Weka there. Mbegu. Put the seed inside here. Yeah. The seed is here. It's on your table. It's on the app. Iko kwenye app ya na table zenu. Hiyo ndio mbegu. That is the seed. Na usitumainia ile unasikiza hapa peke yake. And don't depend on what you listen here only. Hii unapati wangu wa course outline. This one we just given the course outline. Ya ujue pia kwa era kule utaenda kuchambua chambua. To know where you're going to read from. Unafikiri masambie mawili hapa ndio natosha kuweka mbegu. These two hours here enough to put seed in you. Enough seed. It's not enough. You have a part. Una sehemu yako ya kutenda. Play your part. Fanya kazi yako. Wengine Others, na hawa ni wengi sana katika and, ujumbe. These are so many now the message. Uh, seven, seven, you say seven, I don't steal, I don't Asama. drink, I don't Nini, do this. Si ni pombe sitendi hili. <laughs> number one, that has nothing to do with you. Ya kwanza, kunywa pombe hakuna uhusiano nawe. And if I may add, na kama nitaongeza, hauwezi shinda mfarisayo katika hii maneno. Uh, you can't defeat a Pharisee in, in mokorino, holiness. Mokorino. Even a Mokorino is more holy than you. Huwezi shinda na naye kwa hiyo. You cannot Uh, wrestle with them on this so when you start playing this game yeah, i don't i don't i don't atizifanyi zifanyi zifanyi hili na lile my friend you are playing gurumaya in kenya when people are playing english premier league on the other side utapambana aje na the rich young ruler eh you are the ruler since i was born i have never stolen i have never done i have never used the word of god in vain i have never did this neither that you have lost if you are following that one see It is the inside. Unaona ni pale ndani. No matter how good you are. Hajalishi ije wewe ni mwema kiasi gani? Jinsi ulivyo na maandili. How truthful you are. Jinsi ulivyo mwaminifu. We respect those. Mambo haya tuyaheshimu. But Jesus said except. Bali Yesu alisema isipokuwa. A man be born again. Mtu azaliwe mara ya pili. Unaona? Only one method. Ni njia moja tu. Unaona? There's got to be something happen inside. Lazima patendeke jambo kutoka ndani. If you don't kama utafanya hivyo. Artificial put on. Ni kitu ambacho umejimbatika tu. Ndani ya moyo wako. To do it anyhow. Kufanya hivyo hata. It cannot be artificial. Hakiwezi kiwa kitu cha kujimbandika. Lazima kiwe kitu halisi. And there's only one avenue that can come down. Na kuna njia moja tu ambayo inaweza kuja chini. By the way of free moral agency. Hiyo ni katika njia ya uhuru wa kujichangulia. Uije katika nafsi yako. By your thoughts. Kupitia mawazo yako vile unavyowaza. Bwana asifiwe sana. I'm a blessed be the name of the Lord. You know the soul projects what is in it. Unajua nafsi huonyesha tu kilicho ndani yake. Isn't it? Naam. But the mind projects what has been put in it. Bali ni haina kitu uonyesha kile kimewekwa ndani yake. Are we together? Tuko pamoja. So if you don't have the soul of God. Kwa hivyo kama unataka nafsi ya Mungu from inside kutoka ndani you get the desire unakuwa na shauku to sin. Ya ya kutenda dhambi. Ya kutenda dhambi. You may suppress it. Uenda hiyo shauku ukaikanyangia chini kwa sababu kadha wa kadha. You may suppress it for your reputation. Uenda ukakanyangia chini kwa sababu ya vile umaarufu wako. You can suppress the, the sin. Eh, unaweza kukanyangia ile dhambi. Eh, because of the deacons. Kwa sababu ya mashemanzi. Eh, Ndio. <laughs> unaweza kanyagia. Na sababu ya mwenendo wa kanisa na utaratibu na mambo kama yale. But it's a struggle. Lakini ni kungangana na kongangana. When it's converted, wakati hiyo nafsi imeongoka. 
your appetite just changes. Ladha yako ubadilika mara moja. Isn't it? Sindio? It just changes. Ladha yako ubadilika tu. So now you don't have to suppress. Kwa hivyo haitabidi uanze kukanyagia. Ni maishi unaishi tu moja kwa moja. The process of that conversion uh, uh, is through this mind. But this mind operates differently. What you put in yani kile ipe, is what it reflects. Isn't it? So if you put in worldly music, you will come out with a spirit of lust. Roho watama ya macho utakuwa na roho wa kutaka kutaka kuwa mwizi anatumia buduki naleta matunda yake ukiweka ujumbe hapa ndani hapa utatokea na roho tofauti kwa hivyo hapa ni kazi yako kujua kile unachoweka humu ndani amina Praise the name of the Lord. Sifuni jina lake bwana and don't say that this just came to my wall na usiseme ati jambo hili kuja tu katika ilikuja kwa wall yangu ya uh, ati, ati kwenye utofuti yangu anitaangalia kwenye tofuti tu kidogo you have the choice wewe una changuo bwana asifiwe sana amina so that is the only avenue through your thoughts hiyo ndio njia ya pekee tu kupitia mawazo yako as a man thinketh in his heart so Kama is he mtu awazavyo maoni make hivyo ndivyo alivyo let's go to uh, yeah let's continue here If you say to this mountain move and go down in your heart. Utaambia mlima huu ngoka na usitilie shaka moyoni mwako. But believe. Lakini uamini. That what you have said will come to pass. Na kwamba kile umesema kitatendeka. You can have what you say. Unaweza kupata ulichosema. Amina. There you are. Kwa pale. That is the battleground. Hiyo ndio sehemu ya vita. If you only get that started first. Kama kwanza unaweza kuanzisha hiyo. It must be accepted in the mind. Lazima ikumbalike ni yani. Then it is believed with the heart. Na yaaminiwe moyoni. Then the word of God becomes a reality. Alafu neno ya Mungu inafanyika uhalisi. Then every senses of soul and Alafu, body. Alafu kila hisi ya mwili na nafsi zote zimetolewa huko nje na roho mtakatifu believest thou this je mnaamini hili believest thou this je mwaamini hili in the bible in luke 8:5 luka 8:5 i think i have 10 minutes na apata dakika 10 hivi in the parable of the sower katika ule mfano wa mpanzi The Lord spoke about a sower who went to sow. Ah bwana alinena habari ya mpanzi aliyeenda kupanda. Zingine zikaanguka kwa njia, si ndio? Some seeds fell on the way. Zingine zikapatana na mo, na meamba. Ah others ke, uh, fell on the rocks. Mawe, si ndio? Yeah. Zingine zikaanguka kwa miba. Others fell on thorns. Zingine zikapata predestinated virgin ground. Ah, others got a predestinated virgin ground. Isn't it? Mm-hmm. Na akatuambia vizuri. And he told us clearly. Wale ambao ni wanjiani Those who fell on the way. Neno inaingilia hapa Sunday. Ah those who word head here on Sunday through here. And they don't even reach Kitaro. It comes in through here. It comes in, it is gets out. Those are the ones who fell on the way. He said say there are others. Wao ni wako na mawe. They are they have stones. They are better off because when it gets in in the mind in the katika nia inakaa it is stay there for some time lakini but wao wanatembeaga kulingana na macho they walk according to their eyes they are led by their eyes so yeye so him akipatana na temptation when he meets with temptation ile riskia inapotea what he had gets lost You remember that brother who I told he followed a certain girl from a university up to LSLS. Ukipata majaribu if you get to temptations inasahurika. The one that you had is lost. Those are the ones that fell on the rocks. Kuna wengine there are others ni miba. There are thorns. They have fell on thorns. Hawa miba Uh, those stones now they are better off more than the rocks because they are happy about the word they accept the word but they believe it and it stays there 
Lakini Yesu akasema hao But Jesus said those ones wakikutana na the cares of this world wakikutana na kujali kwa ulimwengu huu Kani kadiri katokee broti maguta maguta <laughs> Lakini lazima muangalie A very good deal kwa But you, you must give 50,000 to the Mr. Hiyo Lance uh, He is defeated by that one Wanachenga neno uh, Then uh, they draw with the word Because of the cares kwa sababu ya kujali kuhusu mambo ya ulimwengu huu Ali explain hiki kwa alisema because he said ana hii kitu he gave this thing kwa kaenda kumuuliza na hiyo kitu ulikuwa unasema nini and disciples asked him what when you were saying what were you meaning kwa sababu ni wafalme wacha niwaambie because you are the kingdom let me tell you akaambia vile tume venye nime explain and uh, they are told the way it is ali pofika katika the fertile ground when he reached to talk about the fertile ground who is the virgin we are talking about this 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 morning and by the big number to nena habari yake asubuhi ya leo in verse 15 Sari wa 15 akasema he said this but on the that on the good ground are they which bali zile zilizo katika udongo mzuri ni wale in an honest and good heart ambao kwa unyofu na wema wa mioyo baada ya kusikia neno they keep it huishika but they don't bring forth fruit in kisha awazai matunda mara moja look at that scripture angalia maandiko yale they keep the word wanaiweka neno here hapa akilini mwao and with patience na kwa kuvumilia kwingi with waiting kwa kusubira without doubting pasipo kutilia shaka they bring forth fruit wanazaa matunda mengi baada ya kuvumilia have you seen meona keeping it hearing wakiweka wameisikia and keeping it na alafuiweka then with patience kisha kwa subira you'll bring forth the fruit. Tazaa matunda mengi. We care so much about the fruit. Na jali sana kuhusu matunda. We end up doubting the word. Na tunatilia shaka neno. Because we cannot see. Maana tuwezi kuona. We are children of Abraham. Sisi ni wana wa Ibrahimu. We are children of faith. Sisi ni watoto wa imani. We believe the word. Tunayamini neno. We keep it. Na tunaiweka, tunaihifadhi. That was Mary did. Hivyo ndivyo Maryamu alivyofanya. She never questioned. Yeye hakutilia swala. Sister give me let's see about Mary in uh, 50 50716 paragraph 41 That's my second last quote Ni kuu yangu ya pili ya mwisho Ah get for me but Mary never she never questioned look at Mary before she had ever seen an evidence of what the angel told her ongalie ni mariam kabla hajapata thibitisho wa kile malaika alikuwa amemwambia hakuwa ameona madhirisho yote yale mshari mwake ya kwamba ni kama palikuwa mtoto aliyekuwa ndani ya tumbo yake ya uzazi Mary never she never questioned But Mary never. Lakini Mariamu she never questioned. Hakutilia shaka kamwe. She said behold the handmaid of the Lord. Akasema tazama mjakazi wa Bwana. Unto me according to thy word. Na iwe kwangu kulingana na neno lako. Hona. She did not wait till Ak- she was positive. Hakungoja mpaka atiyakumbali. She did not wait till Ak- she was positive. Hakungoja ati mpaka akumbali. Ionekane akumbali. We want to wait until we see all victories in our life. Tunataka tungoje mpaka tuone ushindi wote maisha yetu ili tuamini. That we are a part of this. Ati sisi ni sehemu ya bibi harusi huyu. The secret is the opposite. Siri ni kinyume ya hayo. That you believe it before you have seen it. Ya kwamba unaamini kabla hujaona. Confess it before you have seen it. Unaikiri kabla hujaona. Claim it before you have seen it. Unadai kabla hujaona. You possess it before you have seen it. kabla hujaona. Mary did not wait. Mariam akungoja mpaka atiionekane kwa. She didn't wait till she felt something akungoja ati mpaka akasikia kitu ati mpaka akasikia kuna uzima right alianza hapo kwa hapo kumsifu Mungu kwa ajili yake maana alikuwa na ahadi ya Mungu huko dada tupeni Mariamu wengine huko kanisani la Kikuyu tupeni Mariamu wengine wengi ambao watasema Mungu katika neno lake sio ngoja mpaka usikie kitu fulani ama kitu kitendeke chukua neno kuli kana neno lake anza kufurahia kuyusu haleluya praise the name of the lord sifuni jina lake bwana haleluya amen 
She did not wait. Maria makungoja. She did not go to do a pregnancy test. Akuenda kufanyiwa no. hati utafiti onekana kama ana mimba. Akuitaji. The word of the Lord was enough. Neno la Mungu likuwa inatosha kwake. In her heart. Katika moyo wake. She could already start saying. Tayari angeanza kusema. Merry Christmas. Uh, Eri za Christmas. For unto us a child. Maana kwetu mtoto amezaliwa. Where is the child? Mtoto yuko wapi? I am the one bringing forth that. Mimi ndio nitakayemzaa huyo mtoto. Are you expectant? Je, una mimba? There is nothing I can show you. Hakuna kitu cha kuonyesheni. No way I can prove to you. Hakuna jia kuadhibitishieni. No way. Sina jia. But he promised. Bali aliahidi. I say amen to it. Nilisema amina kwalo. And I am the virgin. Na mimi ndio bikira. Of Isaiah chapter 7. Wa Isaiah sura ya 7. It is written about me. Imeandikwa kuhusu mimi Mariamu. Na we have some more Mary's in Kikuyu. Na tuwe na Mariamu wengine wengi kanisani ya Kikuyu. Nani atakuwa Mariamu asubuhi ya leo? Sifuri jina lake bwana. Like Mary. Ni kama Mariamu. Has he sent an angel? Je, ametuma malaika? Has he sent an angel? Je, ametutumia malaika? Has the angel fi- found a blessed virgin on the land? Je, malaika amepata bikira wa heri duniani? Have we received the promise of Revelation 10:1 to 7? Je, mmepokea ahadi ya ufunuo 10:1 hadi 7? Has the seed been released? Je, bengu imeachiliwa? Have we opened up our thoughts and che, our minds? Tumefungua nia zetu na mawazo yetu kwa ajili ya hiyo neno. And say it like Mary. Na kusema kama Mariamu. Na iwe kwangu. According to your Kulikana na neno lako. Then the virgin has conceived. Basi bikira amebeba mimba. Merry Christmas. Heri za Christmas. It does not matter what we see. Haijalishi tunachokiona. Haijalishi. What can be seen? Kile kinaweza kuonekana na macho haya. Looking at the unseen. Tunaangalia kisichoonekana. We can say Merry Christmas. Tunaweza kusema sasa kusema heri za Christmas. Maana bikira amebeba mimba. God bless you so much. Bana wabariki kwa wingi. Na tusimameni miguni yetu. Amen. Amina. Do you love the Lord? Nampenda bwana. Let's sing a Christmas carol. Na tuimbeni oh, wimbo wa Christmas. Oh, faithful, joyful and triumphant. May we go into the holiday season. Na tuende kwenye majira haya ya Christmas. Tukiwa na imani iliyopanda kidogo kuligana na yale atuwa hivi. Sio kile ambacho tunaweza kukiona. Hallelujah. Joyful and triumphant O come ye, O come ye To Bethlehem Come and behold him Born the King of angels O come let us adore him Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Sing choirs of angels, sing in exaltation. Sing all ye citizens of heaven above. Amen. Glory to God, all glory in the highest. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore Him, Christ the Lord. You alone is worthy, for you alone is worthy, for you alone is worthy, Christ. We give you all the glory. 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 
We praise your name forever. 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 Christ the Lord. Do you love the Lord? Let us just thank him. Why don't we have an altar service where don't tell him your problems? Just tell him, thank you for what you have done. Because problems we are telling him every day. Thanking him is not is what we are not doing enough. Because we have not accepted what he has already done. Let us just tell him thank you. Amen. If you have not given your life to Christ, we are here to pray with you, to baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ, and give you the key that had been taken away by the devil. And you get into this life, and you start on this journey. Amen. Nasa uti ako nika safiwe kwa damu ya kwa ngikwa kwa ko ni esongea mtini pako. Oh, 
Afi kwa namu ya kwa gi kwa kwa ko na pa tsa wo ko bu we ma na ne ma kwa ko bo na ni na go go na ha ki da i ma. Natuombe Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo Tuwaja mbele yako na shukrani katika mioe yetu Kwa sababu ya vile neno lako Lime tuonyesha wazi wazi Bile unavyotupenda baba na yale ambayo umetuahidi na ya kwamba ni sisi tu kupokea kukubali kusema amina kama Bikra Maria alivyofanya wakati ulipomtembelea ulipo baba tunaomba ya kwamba ukatusaidie ukatupatie imani tupindue macho yetu iache kuangalia nje ila iangalie ndani na iangalie ahadi zako kwetu baba. Naomba waaminio wote walio katika hili kanisa na kushukuru kwa kiwango cha imani ambacho umepatia waaminio katika hili kanisa. Tunapoomba lolote baba unalitenda kwa sababu umesema ya kwamba tukidumu katika neno lako na neno lako lidumu ndani yetu basi tutaitisha chochote ambacho tunataka na utatupatia. Na tukitumia hiyo ahadi tumeomba mengi katika hii kanisa na tumeona ukitutimizia. Kwa hivyo hata haja zilizo na waamini hapa leo twazileta mbele yako. Amen. Tukijua ya kwamba utazitimiza baba. Waone wanyonge walio katikati yetu. Wagonjwa walio katikati yetu. Wale ambao wamefishwa moyo, wako na shida za kijamii, shida za kifedha, shida mbalimbali baba, wanakulilia na kukuomba. Tunaomba ya kwamba koro wako mtakatifu watimizie hayo ambao wanaomba. Na uwapatia ufunuo wa kuweza kutangaza ya kwamba umeshatenda na kuanza kukushukuru na tutakuwa hapa tukikushukuru. Tunasema asanti kwa ushirika baba, asanti kwa ujumbe ambao umeendelea, asanti kwa watoto wako ambao wameupokea. Tunasema asanti kwa mchungaji wetu, umbariki aliko baba, ukampatia wakati mwema tunaombea kila mmoja mshirika wa hili kanisa pia tunapoenda katika sherehe za krismasi mpaka mwaka mpya baba tunaomba ya kwamba ukawe nasi Amen. tuwe na wakati wa kutafakari haya maneno tukifungua mwaka tufungue mwaka tukiwa na ushawishi mpya wa kuendelea kuamini zaidi na kuendelea kiwango kingine cha juu tunasema asanti kwa yote kwani tuomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tukiamini Amen. Nampenda Yesu. Tunaweza keti tafadhali. Thanks. Dada wakubatizwa. I give you thanks for all you've done. I am so blessed. My soul is at rest. Oh Lord. I give you thanks, sing thanks, oh thanks, thanks, Lord, I give you thanks for all you've done. I am so blessed, my soul is at rest, oh Lord. I give you thanks. I think we have come to the end of the service. Tumefika mwisho wa ibada. Isipokuwa kuwe na tangazo lingine. Uh, I would like to pray for those who are traveling. Tungependa kuomba kwa wale ambao wanasafiri. After that we will say the grace. Basi tuseme alafu tusaseme neema. Na mtakuwa huru kuondoka. Tuombeeni.
Most precious Heavenly Father, it is the time of the holidays. Many of your children must travel to various destinations. Heavenly Father, this is a season that the devil relays on the highways and the byways. Lord. It is our prayer, Lord, that each member of this church who embarks on a journey we shall have them safe utawarejesha utawa wasalama back here in the new year dear lord na hata hapa kwenye mwaka ujao we claim your protection to die in the name of jesus wako. christ katika jina la yesu kristo we apply the blood of jesus christ tunaiweka damu ya yesu kristo and its power na nguvu zake the vehicles that shall be used katika magari ambazo zitatumika bwana everything that will go on in the holy days chote ambacho kitaendelea kawe kwa mtukufu wako kwamba tukatukuze jina lako na tukushukuru na kushukuru kwa mwaka mpya thank you for the time you have given us. Tunakushukuru kwa wakati ambao umetupa baba. Lord for the year you have given us. Bwana mwaka ambao umetupa. The rise in revelation that you have given us. Na kwa ufunuo ambao umetupa kupitia kwa mchungaji wetu. We are grateful precious. Tofurahi baba yetu wa mdamana. For we pray trusting and believing in the name of the Lord Jesus. Tukitumai katika jina la Yesu Kristo. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 God be with you. Oh, they tell me of a home far beyond the sky. Oh, they tell me of a home far away. Oh, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an uncloudy day. Oh, the land of cloudless day. Oh, the land of an uncloudy sky. Oh, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an uncloudy day. Oh, they tell me of a king in his beauty there. And they tell me that mine eyes shall behold where he sits on his throne that is whiter than snow in that city that is made of gold oh the land of cloudless day oh the land of an uncloudy sky Oh, they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an uncloudy day. Oh, they tell me of a home where my friends have gone. Oh, they tell me of a land far away where the tree of life shall forever bloom shedding fragrance to the night cloudy day oh the land of cloudless day oh the land of an uncloudy sky oh they tell me of a home where no storm clouds rise oh they tell me of an uncloudy day oh they tell me that he smiles on his children there and his smile drives the sorrows all away and they tell me that no tears ever come again in that lovely land of uncloudy day oh the land of cloudless day oh the land of an uncloudy sky 
Oh, they tell me of our home when all storm clouds rise. Oh, they tell me of an uncloudy day.